Alright y'all, welcome back to Power Doors. And I'm here today on some private land with uh, my good friend Dylan. And it's currently 7.20. And we have a 8 mile power west wind, but it should come from the bedding in front of me and walk straight to my right about a 15 yard shot and go right to the cornfield. So, if they read the script, we should be able to get one on camera. I'm going to stay here quietly and probably, hopefully, get some deer action today because it's, the conditions are good. Matt. Oh. Literally, I'm not even kidding you. Two, like, not even a minute, a whole minute after I did my interview, I grabbed my boat, pulled back, and then I let down, looked to my right, and there's does walking right here already. I don't have my rangefinder, but I thought it was 30 yards. I'm not sure if I smoked her. If you're looking at the footage, <clears throat> I don't know if I hit her or not. Oh, man. I literally, I called it. I literally called it. They read the script. Like, literally not even a whole minute after I did the interview. They came walking in just super fast. They had a fit, they were at 15 yards, but I was trying to get the camera on it because I really wanted to get on the camera for you guys. But I couldn't do it fast enough because I was showing or like you know doing the b-roll of, of me pulling back and stuff make sure it's all good and I thought there I 30 I put my 30 yard pin on her and it looks like it shot low but I also so, I couldn't tell if it sounded like I whacked her or not but I don't know if I should go down there and check if I there's blood on the arrow because if there is then I got a really good shot on her and there's the arrow completely missed her right under her. Exactly 4 p.m. I just got up in the stand. It's a little windy. We have about 13 mile power winds. Um, back out for redemption this morning, actually. I got shot out of doe and I missed because I didn't bring my rangefinder and I just uh, misjudged it just a little bit. But we're back out here on the farm. I'm sitting at this <clears throat> tree stand that I've sat in for about two years, but this is the stand I uh, sat when I killed my first uh, deer ever with a bow. So. Perfect bow setup. Behind me is a cornfield. Just up the hill is a uh, bean field and cornfield mix. The tree that I'm set up on right now is a perfect uh, stand for afternoon sits because a whole bunch of deer like to move out in between the timber, being that the cattle is out on the field right now. So what I'm hoping is I can catch a doe walking by if a nice buck presents himself. Then yeah, I'm gonna take this shot. But uh, I'm really just looking for a doe.
What in the freaking world was that? You guys know what kind of cat that is. Uh, comment down below. I think it's a bobcat. But I was just sitting here quietly and I just kept hearing like ruckus. I thought it was a deer just like running through the thick timber right here. And I look over and I see it coming, coming down the tree. And then it jumped down the tree and ran across the creek right here. It jumped over the creek actually and then it ran up the hill just sprinted up there. I think it was a bucket. I honestly, I don't know what the fuck. I thought it was a damn cheetah in fucking Iowa. I was like, holy shit. At least he's out of the area, so hopefully some deer start coming in. He or she, I don't know what it was. I don't even know what that was. It could have been a house cat I fucking know, but... It did look pretty big. All right, so it's currently 5.30. And there was a coyote. I couldn't get on camera, but... Basically... Coyote came to my left, never caught my wind. Came behind me about 22 yards. I tried stopping him because I was gonna uh, try stopping him so I can get him on camera. But he just kept running, but he ran towards where I think the deer are gonna be coming this way, so. I really hope that doesn't throw anything off. We, about, we have about an hour left of daylight, it's 5.30. Dropping. I've seen so many predators today, but no, I don't, I've only seen two deer. Man. Seems like a lot of things are going from my left. Which might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing. I just hope the next thing that walks out is a deer, so. <sighs> Hopefully, I get one here pretty soon to come out. Looks like we're down to our last, I don't know, 30 minutes of light. And I haven't seen any deer moving at all. I keep thinking I hear, I'm hearing stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's just acorns dropping. But I'll be sure to turn on the camera if anything uh, shows up before. Sun's down.
guys understand how much I've been trying to fill this toe tag. The only thing I can say is thank you to my uh, girlfriend, because she knows during hunting season, I'm not around much, because I'm always in, in the woods when I'm off work. I think the plan is, it's getting dark, and I have a lot of gear on me, so I'm gonna go walk back to the truck, meet up with Dylan, and then um, we're gonna unload stuff, leave my, I'll probably bring my bow, but I'm gonna drop off the camera arm and all that stuff, all the heavy stuff, and come back, and then we'll start track here, but I'm pretty sure that's a dead deer. All right, so, Spend some time, we're back at the truck, and we actually are going to use a four-wheeler, drive it down there because it's a really far drag, and then we're going to try to pull out of the woods and then attach it and then bring her up here, but hopefully we find it. Anyway, that's Dylan right there. Oh my god. I just happened. I literally went from missing a deer in the morning to literally smoking one. Huh? <laughs> I missed a freaking deer this morning. Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of happy I missed it now because that one's a lot bigger. But yeah, we're gonna do that and then, yeah, let the tracking begin, I guess. All right, y'all, so, let me just find the arrow. Shine the light right here. Yeah, yeah. Filled with nice blood all, right, all the way down. Really good blood. It's probably guts either, so that's good. Looks kind of... Definitely long. Yeah. We're gonna get on this blood trail, so we were just walking looking for blood. Look what we run into. Nice head. What six pointer? Eight pointer. Eight pointer. A little bit of chip off. Yeah. Shit. It's dope. Wanna carry it? Yeah, I'm keeping it, fuck. So we just found her. She's a quality, quality deer. Uh, she didn't go 40 yards. We just had trouble finding her because it's so thick down here compared up to the tree stand So we couldn't really see much But yeah, we're gonna drag her out there to the four-wheeler take her home and Do what you got to do. So let's go do that now All right, y'all so we just got her back to the truck We used the four-wheeler, but we started to drag her out of the woods and stuff and we got stuck in the mud and all that. Literally, this morning was so crappy, I freaking missed a doe at like 35 yards. And then, come later tonight, and now I had good hopes, and then we got her done. I even saw a freaking bobcat, I saw a coyote, I was like, holy crap. I was seeing everything. Hands down, like even though it's not a huge buck, but it's a nice doe and all. Hands down, like one of the best days hunting. Hands down. It was a really good day. All the shit I saw. But yeah, we're basically gonna load her up, maybe take her to Austin's and cut her up real quick. But yeah, I got work tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. Yeah. And what time is it? 8.42. It's 8.42, so I'm gonna try to get this motherfucker out real quick, so I'm gonna stop talking and get to doing. She looks fired. 